Hello once again friends, subscribers. This one's for Totally Brown especially. Um, I was uh, snooping around in one of my local gun stores on Friday and uh, <laughs> I came across this beauty. Uh, it came uh, with a fired target from Saco. Uh, the rifle is, uh, well, you can judge for yourself. It's got uh, exceptional wood. It, uh, it's really beautiful. It came with rings. Uh, this is my own 36 power loophole. I had on my old bench rest rifle and I thought it was period correct as this rifle by the serial number was made in 1988. Uh, apologize for the sloppy camera work, you know me, done on a shoestring. Uh, the rifle came with uh, a set of dies which were marked uh, 3599 which tells you how long ago that was. Uh, and it came with 40 rounds of ammunition and uh, so I uh, I shot 20 off I wasn't going to keep this rifle as an unfired or once fired <laughs> replica as totally brown knows I have the uh, made of this rifle in 22 ppc which is kind of a rare rifle uh, but the wood is by no means as spectacular as this one is. The camera just doesn't do it any justice. I'll turn it around here in a moment. And uh, yeah, um, yeah, it's pretty. It sure is. At any rate, uh, so I thought, well, I shot these 20 off. And I would just go to my old loading manual, my old, sorry, not my loading manual, my loading log, and I would go to a load that I used when I was active in bench rest, which was seemingly a lifetime ago, and I just picked a load, and uh, I just picked a plain Jane Sierra match bullet, and uh, just put the first load in that uh, I thought would be effective there on the left is a factory round and there on the right is one of my hand loads so the results were well kind of spectacular I would say I'll let you be the judge I have a witness target here that group there is 0 0.055 so 55 thou five shot and this one here is 0 0.108 so um, and that's uh, that's five shot as well so 108 thou with my own hand loads um, factory ammunition uh, and this was at 100 yards so uh, the uh, factory ammunition wasn't quite as good, but still uh, eye-watering nonetheless. Uh, they were uh, in around uh, 160 thou for five shots. Uh, one was 162 thou and one was 171 thou for five shots. Quite spectacular. There's a sighter shot. I bore sighted the rifle and, well, obviously I didn't do as good a job as I thought. But Regardless, it's, uh, it's quite a find. I'm still, still tickled pink. And uh, let me know what you think in the comments, if anyone actually watches this. And... Uh, I don't know what else to say. I'm. Uh, it's kind of uh, reinvigorated me on the uh, the bench rest, the bench rest kind of thinking. Even though I, there's just no way I could be competitive in any way these days. However, I'll uh, 
I'll leave the rest up to your thoughts and uh, let me know what you think. Just a brief look at the uh, left hand side of the stock. Lots of figure here which the camera really doesn't pick up very well. Especially along the uh, forestock and to the uh, tip of the forearm. It's really quite a bit of figure. I guess it's the light isn't great in here. So at any rate it's a very pretty rifle and it's a shooter. So thanks for your patience and thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Bye-bye.